Titanic was called the ship of dreams. And it was. It really was. Take it to see Mr. Murdoch. I never doubted for a second that Titanic was right for 3D. The question was, when do we do it? And I always felt that the centenary of the real sinking would be a perfect opportunity. You know, I'm a bit of a connoisseur of 3D. We started making digital 3D cameras 12 years ago. So I've, I've shot an awful lot of 3D and I'm very picky about it. And so if I were to do a conversion, it has to live up to that standard. So I wanted it to be the equivalent to what it would have looked like if we had actually shot it in 3D. We've started with the restoration because we never had a true digital master of Titanic. So we cleaned it up and made it as pristine as possible before we even started the 3D conversion process. We tested a number of different companies to prove to ourselves that we could have the quality we wanted in the presentation. We wanted to set the gold standard of conversion. So we brought Jim up to the floor with our artists and we showed him what the technology could do. Titanic's my baby. So, of course, I'm going to roll up my sleeves and get involved in, in every step of that process. Every frame is looked at as a work of art. In every frame, there is a creative vision to how we're going to add depth to that frame. Converting a film to 3D is literally 300 computer artists, in this case, working for over a year to outline every subject, every object, every bit of everybody's face, and put it on its correct depth planes and then clean it all up so that you don't know that any delicate surgery has been done. You try and get it to the place where it's how an audience would believe they would see the world. 3D is not a world coming out of a window. It's a window into a world. I'm a firm believer that 3D not only enhances big, spectacular vistas and action. Iceberg, run ahead! but it definitely enhances small human interaction. Intimate moments are very powerful in 3D because you feel like you're really there. Jack, this is where we first met. And you feel physically present with the characters and somehow it's more emotionally involving. You know, one thing Titanic shows you more than anything is how well a drama can work. And you feel like you're on the boat with them. God almighty. Bringing Titanic back is about offering Titanic to a group of film goers who would not get to see it on the big screen. Part of it is just to see the film again on the big screen. It brings back those emotions from having watched it before. You put the 3D on top of that and it's so gorgeous and lush and you feel like you're right there in these amazing spaces on board the ship or you're right there going through the jeopardy that Jack and Rose go through and it really kicks it up to a whole other level. When the ship docks, I'm getting off with you.